Are you in your 20s or approaching your 30s? Here are some essential skills that every man should master before they hit the big 3-0. These skills are not just manly, but essential for well-being, personal growth, and independency. So basically, everybody should know these skills and be able to perform them. Let's get straight into it. Number one, financial mastery. Building wealth and avoiding debt. You don't want debt. This country is already in crazy amount of debt already. Don't add to the pool, even if it's just a drop. <laughs> There's three things you can do. You can save, but not just save for a rainy day, but save to invest. You gotta be able to use money like a tool to build a home. You don't just have a big old tool shed. Use those tools to build something, fix something, prevent something. And that's the same way you should look at money. Creating a budget, I feel is essential. And everybody should have a budget because you don't wanna just go to the grocery store and buy everything. Have you ever shopped while you're hungry compared to while you're not hungry? Which one do you spend more money on? Exactly, when you're hungry. But with a list to the grocery store, you get exactly what you need and you get out. Same thing, man. You create a budget. When you get paid, most people get paid every two weeks. Break down a budget of where every penny is going to go before you get paid. So let's say you get paid on Friday, build a budget on Thursday or Wednesday. Create a budget where all money's going before you spend your check, before the check even hits your hands. One thing that keep Americans and people broke in general is they sign up for all these subscriptions that they do not use just to say that they have it or use it once in a blue moon and invest. Invest in real estate, stocks, crypto, gold, silver. Invest in something. And it don't have to be just stocks because a lot of people say invest in stocks you can invest in multiple ways a lot of different ways don't be one of those people that don't know where their money is at they're scared to look at their bank account because they know that they are broke be mindful master financial number two having great communication skills being able to connect and influence people growing up no one tells you how important communication is, from your body language, to listening skills, to public speaking. But the older that you get, the more important that these skills are and for you to master. Communication can make a relationship, it can also break a relationship. Be able to communicate your feelings to another person. Being able to communicate to someone and let them know where your point is and why it's valid. Rather than acting emotionally growing up, we act emotionally. We don't know how to get it out, so we ah, 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 ah. As an adult and fully growing up, you gotta be able to communicate. Communication skills make a big difference at work and also your personal life. You might not notice it, but it is, and that's why you should pay attention to the way that you communicate with people, with your team at work. If you wanna get promoted, they're gonna look at the way that you effectively communicate with your team. In your personal life, with your wife. Women are more emotional, so they connect with your words. Sometimes it's not about what you said, it's the way that you said it. So you gotta be able to build these skills and be aware of the words that you say and how you say it. Because depending on how you say it can cause an argument with your woman. Yeah, I know, I've been there, I've been there. Cause I'm like, I ain't saying nothing wrong, but it's not what you said. It's how you said it. Speaking in public, a lot of people are scared to do this. But as a man, you gotta be able to hold your own in front of five people, 10 people, 100, 500. Speak with confidence. And a good way to practice that is practice what you're gonna say before you have to say it. Be prepared, gives you more confidence. Even if you make a mistake, still say it with confidence and apologize with confidence and full accountability. Number three, build a strong and healthy foundation. Don't let your body deteriorate before you hit your full potential mentally, physically, and spiritually, even financially. 
because if your health is not there nothing else matters have you ever been sick what's the only thing you think about getting better you feel me so make sure you take care of it to prevent being sick because all that just go down the drain create good habits like sleeping habits stress management meal prepping a good exercise routine if you go to your doctor's appointment your doctor's gonna ask you how many times are you going to the gym or exercising the minimum they're gonna say for you to do is three times a week having your meals planned not necessarily you gotta have it prepped like you're a bodybuilder but your diet at least you know don't always and only ju eat junk food fast food you got canes mcdonald's popeyes chick-fil-a if you look at the ingredients man that stuff is steroid up putting the right fuel in the body really does prevent you from getting sick sleeping habits it's okay on the weekends to sleep late here and there but not every night you're just only on your phone until you sleep with the phone on your chest stress management Stress causes so much illness to the body. It's not even funny. If anything stress you in your life, cut it out. If you can't, learn to how to manage it. So make sure you keep your body strong. Keep your mental strong as well. Number four, self-discipline. The key to consistency. No matter how you feel, when you set your goal on something, do it. Tired, do it. Sick. Do it. Happy. Do it. Depressed. Do it. Stressed. Do it. Sore. Do it. No matter what's going on, man, that discipline is going to make you the man that you want to be. Through it all, through the ups and the downs. I know for men, in the time that we are least disciplined is through a heartbreak. But even during those times, I am telling you, do it still. I know you don't want to do it. I know you don't want to get up. I know nobody understands what you're going through. Because this pain that you feel right now is the only pain that exists. And nobody else is going through it. But still with that pain, turn that pain into power. Turn that pain into discipline. Turn that pain into consistency to better yourself and better your life. Because at the end of the day, the day is going to end. And at the end of the day, of multiple days, you are going to be more proud of yourself that you continued and you remain disciplined than if you're to stop and give in to that little voice in your head like, nah, don't do it. It's okay. Don't fall for that. That's why a lot of people, they look back and they're like, damn, where the hell did all these months go? All these years go? Because it didn't remain disciplined. Stay disciplined. Set a schedule, whatever schedule that is for anything. If you're a painter, you're going to paint. Every time I get off work on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I am going to paint for three hours. No matter what's going on, distraction, move that stuff out the way. No matter how you feel, don't even care immerse in your art immerse in your discipline and stick to it discipline is what is going to get you to where you want to get there's only two pains in life i don't know who said this but this hits home for me the pain of discipline or the pain of regret all depends on you and what you want to do because you make that choice nobody else makes that choice for you Number five, basic do-it-yourself. You gotta be able to know how to change a tire. Because if you're driving home, your tire pop, and you have to call somebody, come on, man. <laughs> that one made no sense. You gotta be able to do that. And if nobody teached you, go on YouTube, type in how to change a tire, and practice. Practice until you got it down pat. Basic home maintenance that you need to know. Changing the AC filter. Changing the fire detector battery. Ugh, I don't know why people do not change those things. It's just beep, beep, beep. Man, that stuff is so annoying, bruh. And that's how you know a woman is single. Wink, wink. <laughs> 
Cause she ain't got a man to go there and change it or she don't got a real man, you know? First aid, be able to use a guy's wrap. Be able to, you know, clean up a cut with some alcohol, band-aid, fix yourself up a little bit, man. Cause come on, what you doing? Calling your mom cause you got a little boo-boo. <laughs> And being able to use basic tools. Man, you gotta be able to put two plywoods together. You gotta be able to screw and unscrew things. Use a monkey wrench. Like, you gotta know how to use these tools, bro. You don't have to have like the biggest tool shed and like try to show it off. Like, yo, look at my big old tool shed. And you don't know any tools or their names. Like, don't worry about that. But be able to use a screwdriver, power drill, Things like that, because just in case some things in your house fall apart, they break, you can do a quick little fix, save you some bucks. You feel good, your pockets feel good too. But those are the skills that every man should know before they hit the big 3-0. Thank you guys, I appreciate you guys again for rocking with your boy on this new video. Like, subscribe, and also in the comments, drop some skills that you feel men need to know that I didn't already covered. Or talk about the skills that I just spoke about. And if you need more detail, go ahead and put that in the comments as well. I appreciate you guys. You guys be cool. Oh, damn, I messed up a little bit. Y'all be cool. Y'all be easy. Peace.